Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Dark Machine Maximum. So with the release of Maximums coming oh so soon to Duel Links, and one of those Maximums being released being Supreme Machine Magnum Overlord, we thought we would bring it this week. And we thought we'd put it in kind of its own deck, and that is kind of the Dark Machine Maximum deck with some of our Machine and Maximum support cards. To go along with it, we have the Supreme Wild Gleam Magnum Overlord, which I think is the best standalone Dark Machine Maximum we have access to. Pretty good, has a little bit of a floodgate effect and can get built in piercing. For support, we have Repero, who can get back some of our level 10 Maximums and some of our support cards from the graveyard. Crafted Jones trying to filter through. We have Deep Sea Dragon Bat Eel, which is very good to draw a bunch of cards and then put cards back in based on the number of level 10s that we have in our hand, which is pretty good. We've got our Spell Trap, Hate, and Iron Onslaught. We've got some more consistency cards. A Super Electromagnetic Maximum is really, really powerful and can basically set up a maximum play all on its own. We're only on the one BBB, and this is because we only really want it for our Supreme Machine Magnum Overlord because Wild Gleam already has it built in. And for our legends, we are playing Recurring Nightmare to get back some of our maximum pieces from the graveyard, as well as Torrential Tribute, which is just generically good. So we're going to try this out and see how it works. So this is the deck. We're feeling okay about it, but traditionally we haven't done very well on the Dark Machine maximums. And realistically, if we were trying to play a competitive version of this deck, we probably wouldn't actually have Machine Magnum Overlord in here, but we wanted to bring it specifically for this card, so we're going to go with it. But let's fire on in and see what Alex has got for us. Last week, we had an interesting one. We had a maximum off between the Worm Maximum and the Harpies. Now, in traditional Harpy, I don't know, tr the, just the traditional way you play Harpies, I guess, the Maximum didn't come down, right? And that is quite normal for Harpies, right? You don't usually summon out the Maximum. But this is especially relevant this week because we've just had announced the Duel Links that we are getting one copy of each of the Harpy Ladies cards, which is very interesting. Um, I was thinking about it, and I don't actually think the Harpy Ladies on their own are crazy, right? They need all of the good Harpy spell traps to go with them to make them, like, super good. And especially if we only have one copy of each, I'm like, does it matter, right? I think if we had, like, full dress and all the Harpies, that suddenly lets them, like, pop off. And if we had access to a lot of the other spell and traps and the other good Harpy monsters... It'd also be pretty good, but I don't know if just one of each on the road is going to be great. I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do much on its own. Hmm. I think, I think it'll be fine, right? It can still go up to 39. It can't be popped by monster effects. You know, those things are decent. And on its own, the middle piece can go up to 26, which is like pretty good, right? 26 yeah. is a very relevant number. So I think that one at the very least might come up. And then maybe you play the other two just to. I want if you if you would just splash the middle piece, maybe you just splash the other two pieces as well, just because there's a chance that you could maximum summon and just kind of win the game against some decks. But yeah, anyway, anyway, this week, uh, we this is the last week before the next box comes out, which means this is the last time that I'm scraping, and this is the, I want to say you're just going to be on Doomblaze fiends because I think that's the only deck I haven't seen you bring but I suppose you could also do so much more right you still have so many different decks and so many intricate little cards that could be used in multiple decks so for example you did bring a Okiebus deck but you did get some Sea Serpent cards that could also just be in a Sea Serpent Maximum deck right so I think it's it's really difficult to actually fully predict what you're going to be on but I'm going to just say that you're going to be on Doomblaze things that's what I'm going to go with and I'm going to okay. throw the question to you but I guarantee you're not even going to have an answer for me but what do you what do you think I'm on? Uh, sushi roll. Go for sushi roll. Okay, okay. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Um, I'm not, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's fire on in and see what we're both on, shall we? Uh, ah. Oh. 
Ah. Uh, I think I'll actually go first. Okay. I have an invitation. Do blaze fiends? What? <laughs> That's two of them in the graveyard already. Graceful charity in the grave. Probably not what you want to see, but. So this is one of the new ones, right? Eternal Wolf of the Blaze Fiend. 1600 attacks. So quite low attack. Send one fiend type monster from your hand to the graveyard. Destroy a spell trap on your opponent's field. Then if you send a level 10 monster to the graveyard to meet the requirement, you can add a level 4 fiend type monster with zero attack from your graveyard to your hand. So my question is, what good fiends have zero attack in Blaze Fiend? Do the like, side pieces for like, the level 4 one have zero attack or something? No... Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll experience that when they come out. But you've also got Royal Rebels Elite Amp, which is if you have three or more Fiend Type Monsters in your graveyard and have King's Greed in your graveyard, you can add level five or higher Fiend Type Monsters with zero or 2,000 defense from your graveyard to your hand. You can only attack with Fiend Monsters this turn. So we're mixing in some Royal Rebels stuff. Okay, I'm going to open with... You know, I liked your open so much. I'm going to Heavenly Invitation. Ooh. Man, uh, hey, okay, so much spells. <laughs> Uh, you know, maybe. I think we do. Alright, I'm going to activate my Supreme Electromagnetic Maximum, reveal a level 10 from my hand, and I can add up to two machine monsters from my graveyard to my hand. Ah. I see what I've done here. I didn't read. I'm going to set and pass. I think I did this exact same play uh, the last time I used Electromagnetic Maximum, and also okay. screwed myself then as well. Okay. This guild's an interesting one. Ooh, okay. Great Maju. Man, you've been loving this Great Maju. Just love the cheese. It's, yeah, really good. <laughs> With maximums. Alright, we're gonna set, 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 and I think just pass, unfortunately. Okay, Elite Amp Effect. So you can mm. add level 5 or higher Fiend type monster with 0 or 2000 defense. Oh, yeah, yeah, 0 defense. Yeah, yeah, that's what you were saying earlier. Right, right, right. So this lets you just get back the max pieces. Yeah. He's got one. I don't know. What piece Middle are you missing? <laughs> well, here he is. Belakataroth. Into Desperation. Okay, so no piercing. So our life points are safe for now. Alright, let's go have an invitation. Oh, do I want a level 10 back in my hand is the question. I don't think I do with this hand. Yeah, we're going to opt to say no. Mm, what do I do with this though? I've got like the gamble play. Or the be very passive play. Um, well, I think either way we can do that, right? So we will start with craft a drone. We'll activate its effect. We'll discard the draw card. Uh, well, we're not doing that, I don't think. So next, I will activate my supreme electromagnetic maximum, revealing my supreme wild gleam. And I will take back just that. Is that what I'm doing? No, we can take this back as well, right? Okay, we'll take these two back. Next up, I can activate Heavenly Protection or Heavenly Gift even. And I can discard and draw two cards. That's interesting. Do I bother? I think we do, right? No, 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 okay, okay. So we will now maximum summon the boy. Ooh. The issue is that you have three back row, and I don't have any idea what they could be, and I don't remember what the fiend specific ones are. I mean, I can't not attack, right? Well, I mean, I can't leave you with desperation. So I think I have to go battle. 
and we have to attempt to attack. And if you've got it, you've got it. Yeah, I've like, got it. <laughs> you, 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 a hundred percent of the time run magic cylinder, and you always seem to have it. So I'm like, there's nothing I can do if if you've got it, right? Realistically, I didn't have any back row pop, and I can't leave you with desperation because you can just use its effect to pop my guy. So I was like, you know, I've got, to, I've got to try something. But uh, we'll see what happens in game two. All right, we will go first here. Mm, okay, we will set, 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 and set. Then we'll pass. Oh. Okay. Guardian. Okay. The amp. Activate. Okay, I like this. Empty the hand. You hit gift. Add the zero attack guardian back. Okay. Normal. Tribute. And let's. Y'all. You hit craft the drone. And my Overlord L. Alright, let's see. We'll start with any protection. We'll discard a level 10 to draw two cards. I mean, I think I only have the one play, so we have to do it. So I will... Normal summon R. Then I'm going to tribute to and summon out Supreme Beast Magnum Overlord. Then I'm going to activate my Super Electromagnetic Maximum, revealing a second Wild Gleam Magnum Overlord. And then I'll add back to my hand both of the other pieces. This will then let me, once again, maximum summon. Then I will just set a back row, go to battle phase, and we have to get rid of this. Then we pass. So, this guy, since he's actually sticking around, he cannot be destroyed by trap effects, uh, gains attack equal to the number of monsters on my opponent's field times 500, and if I have 10 or more monsters in my graveyard, inflicts piercing battle damage. As well as during the turn, your opponent special summons a level 5 or higher monster face up. While this card is face up, your opponent cannot activate the effects of face up level 10 or lower monsters. So if you do special summon, uh, for the rest of the turn, you cannot use monster effects. He's my big boy. My big beastie boy. But he's mm. still a robot. Oh, we're going to pop. Pew. Got my heavenly invitation. All right, what is this? Uh, send one face up level four lower fiend monster from your field to the graveyard to add level ten fiend type max monster from your graveyard to your hand. This turn you can only attack with maximum monsters. Okay. Oh, only max. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I mean, if you're able to summon tribute for a maximum piece, tribute for a five thousand attack guy, I still can't get over it. <laughs> I still have to find it out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hmm. Now, how do we find this out that we were speaking so highly of? Uh, I can just attack over that and then get clapped over for at least 500. I suppose if you summon out two monsters, you also can't kill me. You have to crash. I think we just set, set, go to battle, and then we will simply attack into the return of Wolf of the Blaze Fiends and pass the turn. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so send three fire attribute maximum monsters from your hand to the graveyard shuffle. All face up monsters in your opponent's field into the other's deck. Okay, that's yeah. pretty good. And then if you have it, you have it, I suppose. Oh, you don't. I, uh, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> do not think so highly of. <laughs> oh, that, on the other hand, that changes things. Right, first things first. We'll activate Heaven Invitation. I can add a level 10 monster to my hand. I think it would just brick up my hand. So I am going to opt to not take one. All right, we will begin by activating Dark Hole. Ooh. Then I'm going to normal summon my Repairo. I can pay 500 life points to shuffle two cards from my hand into the deck. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you can add one level 10 maximum monster, Supreme Magnetic, Electromagnetic Maximum, or BBB Beast Brave Brandish from a grid to my hand. So I will activate this effect. 
Um, this is the issue, is that I still can't actually accomplish what I want. Oh, I've realized my mistake. Oh, that's pretty bad. I could have won this turn. Oh, that sucks. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Right, we'll put these back. I guess it has to be this, right? Okay, we'll set this, go to battle phase, and then just attack. Ah, that stinks. That stinks so bad. I've thrown so hard. Ah, I mean, I don't deserve to win off the throw. Uh, uh, I mean, I've just bricked. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I've bricked hard. Jeez. Level 10, no. Okay, so now it comes down to what is your back row, I guess. So I will activate Heavenly Gift. And I'm going to discard and hope I'm not doing something really stupid here. I'm going to discard all three of these and draw two cards. Excellent, that's what we wanted. Iron Onslaught. Pop that. Then. Wait, why can't I do this? Oh, I'm a dumbass again! <laughs> I need to learn my cards. I don't know enough about this deck because I don't play it very often. Oh, we had lethal again. Um, did we have lethal again? Oh my god. Yes, we did. <laughs> Any two normal sort of monsters would have done it. Well, oh, this is pain. This, this is a weird game, but <laughs> after throwing the game twice, we still somehow managed to win just because you brick so hard. Well, at least we're getting a game three, right? Because that would have been a very disappointing game to have just ended on my horrific misplays. All right, let's see what happens in that. Okie dokie. Well, you won the last time you went first. Left piece. We're like a Taros. Lucilus. So this is the brand new one, right? You can tribute, summon this card in attack position by tributing one maximum monster. If you have three or more fiend monsters in your graveyard, you can take one fire attribute monster from your graveyard and either add to your hand or special summon it. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's less cool. I guess I'm just going to go on the defensive. I'll pass. Okay, middle piece desperation. Well, that goes Magnum Overlord L. Destroyed by your Overlord Desperation. We've got the Overlord off. Amp to Doggo. Okay. There's another Overlord L. And there is a other Overlord L, but it's of a different variety. We've got all the L's. Hopefully that's not uh, foreshadowing. All right, we'll go one. We'll go two. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm just doing this and passing, unfortunately. Okay, I fucked off. Okay, you hit my heavenly invitation. Pop. This. You hit my nobody scat thief. Activate him, there we go. That's another L, because <laughs> all I have is L's. <laughs> <laughs> and you see what might be happening right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the issue is Magnum, isn't it? It's always the Magnum. It's always the problem. They've got too many maximum monsters. Alright, let's start with protection. And we will discard Wild Gleam and draw two cards. Uh, I mean, I only have one option, so we will activate Heavenly Gift. We will discard Magnum Overlord, draw two cards. Hmm. Okay. What can we do? I'm always like... I've got a couple of different things I could do, but they always leave me one card shy of what I need to be able to actually win. Alright, I think I have to just do this. I don't think I get another option. So, we will summon out Supreme Dog Rapero. We'll drop an Iron Onslaught on the back row. 
we will then tribute to summon out Riser. Ooh. I'm going to activate Riser's effect and target. So like, no matter because I if I if I bounce Lucilus, right? You just tribute Desperation to summon Lucilus and then bring Desperation back with its effect, right? Yeah. So like, there's no reason to do that. So I guess <laughs> it has to be this. Then I'll set, go to battle phase, and attack over this. And then I'm pretty sure there's no way you can not win from this position. What? Have a new gift. Well. Elite Amp. Uh, now the question is, will you actually maximum summon before the game is done? Where you can use Lucilus effect to get another piece back to your hand, right? And activate this. Wait, the Lucigraph. Activate corruption. Do you send it to take back the third piece? Grab back the inspiration one. One. Two. Three. There he is. Doom Blaze Fiend Overlord Desperation Maximum Mode. Which includes the Floodgate Monster, Desperation R, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that we actually got to see you Maximum Summon, because I think this is kind of a theme, is you play Maximum decks that just don't Maximum Summon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my only... I mean, obviously, Game 2 was a complete and total uh, wash from me. I had... The problem was, I kept having cards that... So, so, so the very first thing I did was I looked at what I had and I was like, oh, I've already got two level 10s in my hand. I don't want another level 10 in my hand, so there's no point in putting another one in my hand, right? Then I realized that my graveyard didn't have all the pieces I need to summon the level 10 that was in my hand, so I needed the one that was in my graveyard back in my hand. Then I could activate my spell to bring back the other two pieces, which then lets me maximum summon. But I also yeah. forgot that my electromagnetic card requires my opponent to have a monster on the field because it's one of those things where you don't think about it because your opponent just always has a monster on the field but you didn't have a monster so i was like i can't do this so now if you just summon a big guy i'm just dead fortunately you bricked so it didn't matter too much um but my my one major regret is that i just didn't get to summon my supreme machine magnum overlord there was one time during that second game where i potentially could have summoned it but other than that I just didn't even have the option, which was a bit of a shame. I just was kind of hoping I'd draw into it. Because if I was able to summon it on that last turn, uh, it would have been... I was on 500 life, right? So it would have, I would have gained 6,700 attack on top of... You had a level 10, so it would have gone up by another... Uh, God, how much does it go up by? Is it 2,000 it got by? And then I could have just attacked over for lethal. Because, you yeah. know, that's what that card does, right? It's a, it's a comeback mechanic. Um, but unfortunately, the best we could do would be to get the middle piece and the L piece. We had no way to get the R piece in hand. So I was just like, well, I can't, I can't do anything. Also, a little bit of I did side in um, Riser because you're on a maximum deck. And I'm like, putting three maximums to top your deck would be really good. But you didn't maximum summon until the very end. So that didn't, didn't end up doing anything. <laughs> uh, we also did side in the Magic Cylinder because, again, against the maximum deck, Trap destruction ain't gonna do anything. So, um, we did bring that in, but again, we we never drew it, so it didn't end up coming up. We did draw the dark hole that we sided in. So we were originally on recurring nightmare to just try and get our maximum pieces back from the graveyard. Um, so at no. least at least that side came up a little bit. But yeah, the new Doom Blaze stuff seems pretty cool, right? Like, I especially did like Lucillus. Like, having a 2500 attack guy that can be cheated out by only tributing one monster, as well as the ability to just plus one. And that plus one can be a special summon, which is unbelievably good, right? The fact that you put it in your hand is decent, because you can maximum summon off it. Also, if you grab a low level, you can, like, just cheat it out or whatever. You just summon it out and tribute it off or whatever. But the fact that you can special summon any fire attribute maximum from your graveyard is so good. Because, that, like, like we were talking about, you could have just brought back any of your... 2500 attack desperation pieces like your middle piece yeah and it's just completely bonkers um i think this is a bit of a dark horse i think a lot of people are underestimating the blaze fiends a bit but i think with these new support cards they're actually really strong 
as as for my deck, there's, there's not really anything new in here. We were just like, we haven't brought this deck in a while. <laughs> Let's bring it back again. And I think historically, I've always done quite badly on the Dark Machine Maximum, so... <laughs> Uh, we're just uh, we're just following suit, and it might it might help. I don't play the deck enough to actually learn how the bloody cards work. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this was a uh, this was a fun one, buddy. I enjoyed this. So uh, yeah, me too. GG. GG.